start getting ready for today's warm ups. Get ready for today's warm ups. We'll do it in sitting position. Can you hear me? Can you hear me properly? Yeah. Okay, let's start for uh, warm ups for today. We'll do it in sitting position. So we start with the first practice Namaskar Asan. So sit in this position, keep your elbows in the inside of your knees, keep your hands together. The elbow is on the inside of your knee and you keep your hands together stretch them out now when you come up closer you will move the elbows closer to the body spread the knees out look up breathing out you will bring the knees closer together spread the hands out look down hold your breath out breathing in bring the hands Closer to the chest, the knees will go further away, look up. Breathing out, bring the knees closer, hands spread out, look up. One second. Somebody switched off the bell, I don't know who did that. Yeah, now. Sit down, catch your earlobes, bend a little forward, breathing in, come up, breathing out, squat down. Once again, breathing in, bend the head forward, raise your legs, then the head comes up, hold your breath. Breathing out, come down, hold your breath. 
Once again, breathing in, bend forward, move your legs up first, then bring the head up. Last round. Now in that standing position, we will do cross tap. So keep your hands crossed. One, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. Take some breath. We'll do forward bend and backward bend. So keep your hands wherever, either by the side of the body or at the back or on the waist. Take a deep breath in. Hold your breath. As you breathe out, bend forward. And after the body is horizontal to the ground, try and tilt the head down. Take your head closer to your knees wherever you are comfortable. Breathing in, come up. Hold your breath. So support the back and breathing out, bend backwards. Hold your breath, hold your position. Breathing in, come back, hold your breath, hold your position. Breathing out, bend forward. Take the head closer to the knees. Breathing in, come back. Hold your breath, support the back, breathing out, bend backwards. Breathing in, come back. We'll practice Natur Asan. So you will move the right leg a little away, lift the left leg, cross it. The left hand is straight across, the right hand is over the left hand, the index finger is pointing up, the three fingers and the thumb touch together. Look at one point so that you can maintain your balance and hold it as long as you are comfortable. Then slowly release, now the other side. Slowly release and relax. One last round. Shift the right leg away. Lift your left leg up. Release. The other side. Release. So we'll do last practice, which is called Agni Saab. You will bend. Keep the hands on your knees. Bend a little forward. And then take a deep breath in. You will hold your breath. And when you're holding the breath, you will pump your lower abdomen up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then when you no longer you can hold your breath, release first tilt the head up, then breathe in. 
So once again, breathe in deeply. Bend your head down. Move your abdomen forward, backward. Then when you want to breathe in, first come up. Tilt your head up. Then breathe in normally. Second round. After you complete the second round, you can sit down and relax. Then release and relax. <coughs> Agnisar is a good practice to improve your digestion, relieve you from constipation. <coughs> So get ready, be in a meditative asana, sit down comfortably and pay attention to your breathing. Try to be in yogic breathing. Seven times. Make your sankalpa and chanting home, creating a protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. I'm creating three layers of protection. Outermost layer consists of six friendly creatures, an elephant behind me a peacock in front, a tiger on the right side, a lion on the left side, an eagle above my head, and a black tortoise below me. Inside of that, I have big ring with balls of fire. I am lighting all the balls, allowing a firewood to do up all around me. Third layer of protection comes from the subtle energy of the mantra home that I'm chanting. Shift your attention to your Muladhara Chakra at the perineum, four petal lotus red color. Take a deep breath. Oh. Shift your awareness to Swadeshtana Chakra at the spinal terminus, six petal lotus, orange color. Take a deep breath. Oh. Shift your awareness to Manipura Chakra 
Behind your navel, ten petal lotus, yellow color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to <coughs> Anahata Chakra. <coughs> Sorry, shift your awareness to Anahata Chakra behind your heart center, 12 petal lotus, green color. Take a deep breath, increase pitch further and chant home. Uh... Shift your awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra behind your throat pit, 16 petal lotus, blue color, increase pitch further and chant home. Oh. Shift your awareness to Aknya Chakra behind your eyebrow center, two petal lotus, indigo color, increase pitch further and chant over. Your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head, thousand petal lotus, white color, increase pitch further and chant over. Shanti Mantras. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejas Vina Madhi Dhamasu Mavidhishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Keep your hands in Linga Mudra. Pay attention to how you are holding your mudra or the fingers which are interlacing very tight. If so, release them, make them a little loose and relaxed. Is the thumb on the left hand properly erect or is it bending down somewhere? Pay attention and make it stand erect. How exactly are you rotating the right hand thumb and the index around the left hand thumb? Are you holding it tight? If so, release it and relax it. Hold it loosely. Complete mudra is in a relaxed state. Focus your attention <coughs> on the <coughs> ultimate power of creation. Call it Shiva, call it whatever else you want to call it. And then follow me in making your sankalpa and chanting Mahamritinjay mantra for physical health and mental well-being. Chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain <coughs> the best of health mentally and physically. All my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other. I can feel your grace, my Lord, penetrating deep into my body energizing each and every brain cell and body cell, keeping me in pristine health at all times. I bow down before you, thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health. And I promise 
to put in efforts from my side for keeping my body in a healthy condition be fitting for you to reside inside my body in your effulgent form om triyambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushtivardhanam urvarukam iva bandhanan mrityor mukshiyam amritat om triyambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushtivardhanam urvarukam iva bandhanan mrityor mukshiyam amritat om triyambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushtivardhanam ಪೂರ್ವಾರುಕಮಿವ ಬಂಧನಾನ್ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ ಮುಕ್ಷೀಯಮೃತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಗಿಯೋಂ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದಮ್ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೀಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ try to experience the steadiness of your mind become a disinterested passive observer of your own thoughts let them come let them go you are a standby observer observing each thought as it flips in and you are watching it go as it flips out as you keep watching as a standby observer the number of thoughts coming in will slowly start going down become observant of this now as you breathe in visualize that the cosmic energy sitting inside at the muladhara chakra is rising up piercing the shushumna nadi and coming to the top of your head in sahasrara as you breathe out you visualize that this energy is going back from sahasrara down to muladhara Now slowly give up this awareness and then gently open your eyes. We'll start the practices today with Tratak so that we can give a little longer time for it. And after we finish Tratak, then we'll go into Asana and other practices. So get your stool and other things ready. <laughs> arms length <coughs> when everybody is ready we will start
try and if you can make the room a little darker make it if you can switch off the lights switch off the lights bahut sara aage hai shayad mai shayad se bahut simply one arm se wonderful then the distance at which you will be sitting is an arm's length from the flame so just measure that and accordingly adjust your position one arm's length from the flame is where you will sit if you are wearing glasses please take them off and then very gently look at the flame and try not to blink when you are looking at the flame if your eyes tends to have a tendency to blink rather than creating a tension of holding it out just blink a little bit and then immediately go back to looking at the flame make sure that you have switched off the fan and the flame is steady try and look at the minute details of the flame where does the flame exactly start at the bottom of the wick try and notice how is the flame exactly at the wick try and notice immediately about that try and notice there is a dark portion just above that be observant of it how does the flame become a little thinner at the top notice this when your eyes tend to start watering at that point gently close your eyes and look at the after image of the flame try and bring the image in front of your eyes initially you may not see anything but then later on you will see a very dark red color spot it will try to move all over the place mentally try to bring it to your brumadhya and fix it if it if when you try to fix it if it moves away don't fret about it once again gently bring it back continue to look at this after the image till it totally fades away when it totally fades away open the eyes again and look at the flame once more continue to alternate between the flame and the after the image till i take you to the next level
complete the last round of the after image and then we will go to the next level. Gently open your eyes. Tratak is a powerful practice. It helps you delve deep into your subconscious. So sometimes it might bring out a lot of suppressed images, emotions and feelings lying in the subconscious. It might make you feel like crying. If you get into any such feeling, just let the tears flow. If you want to put off your screen, you can do that. But don't stop the emotions coming out. Let it go out so that your subconscious can be cleaned out and it can then help you accelerate your progress towards your spiritual development. Now in the next practice, you're going to look at the flame and you're going to visualize that as you breathe in, you're drawing in the breath from the flame it is piercing from your eyebrow center and going straight to your Akhna Chakra. As you are breathing out, that air is leaving the Akhna Chakra, coming out from the center of your Brumadhyaya and going straight black into the flame. So make this visualization. Initially, you may not feel anything. But when you continue the practice, you will actually feel as though the air is penetrating from the Brumadhyaya. And when you want to close the eyes, close the eyes and look at the after image. And now visualize that you are drawing the breath from the after image. And then it is going to your Atna Chakra. And as you are breathing out, it is flowing back from your Atna Chakra up to the after image. And when the image fades, once again open your eyes, continue the same practice. When you open the eyes, remember you are drawing in the breath from the flame to your Atna Chakra and it flows back from the Atna Chakra to the flame when you breathe out.
Yes, check your mind. Is the mind on the breath? Or has it wandered somewhere? If it has wandered, bring it back. Practice the last round. When you complete the after image, then gently open your eyes. When you have completed, open your eyes once, then gently close it again. And now add the broom at the end. Try and bring the image of a burning flame. Can you visualize all the different nuances of the flame that you noticed when you first looked at it with your eyes open? Are you focusing on the flame or has the mind gone somewhere? The mind has gone somewhere, don't fight with it. Very gently coax it back to focus on the flame with your eyes closed at the Brahmadhyaya. Try to replicate every detail of the image in the, in the visualization. The wake, how the flame started from the wake. What is the position at the bottom? What is the position in the middle? What is its position when it flames out toward the top? Bring each of those elements into your visualization. Check your mind, has it gone somewhere? So gently rub your hands. When they are warm, keep them on your eyes. Then gently open your eyes. And slowly release your hands. Hari Om Tatsu. So, Tratak is a wonderful practice 
for increasing your powers of concentration, for getting deeper layers of subconscious opened up, going into advanced levels of meditational practices. And if you can practice that for about 15 minutes a day, it will tremendously improve your overall performance in everything that you do. So practice it for about a month and see what results you can experience for yourself. So let's get ready for the practices. For today, we start with standing practices. The first of the practice is Tadasan. So get ready for the practice. <clears throat> Keep the hands by the side of the body. Slight distance between the feet so that you can maintain your balance. And breathing in, bring both the hands on top of the head, interlace. Hold your breath and turn the palms facing the sky. Now breathing in, raise the hands towards the ceiling and then come on your toes. Focus your attention at one point in front of you so that you can maintain your balance. Breathe normally so that you can hold the position for a longer time. And now try to stretch the body a little more towards the ceiling. Then when you want to come down, first bring the feet flat on the ground. Then very slowly bring the hands down, breathing out. And continue to breathe out, bring the hands from the sides of the body and relax. Second round. <clears throat> Start breathing in, bring the hands up, interlace them over the head, hold your breath. Turn the palms facing the sky. Breathing in, raise the hands up toward the ceiling, then come on your toes and then breathe normally so that you can hold your position. Try to stretch a little more if you can. Then very slowly breathing out, come down, feet flat on the floor first, then bring the head, hands to touch the head and then bring the hands down from the sides of the body. Now we'll go into Paschimottanasana, so sit down. You have two choices. One is what is called Gatyatmak Paschimatanasan, which is a little more difficult and a little advanced practice. All of you know how to practice Paschimatanasan, so you basically lift your hands up, breathing in and breathing out, you bend forward and you go down. Now I'll demonstrate Gatyatmak Paschimatanasan, and then you choose between the two, whichever you are comfortable with, you can practice. In Gatyatmak Paschimottanasana, you will first raise your hands up, coming to Paschimottanasana. Then you will come back, go into Harasana. So whichever one you are comfortable with, you can practice. If you don't want to do Harasana, you can only do Paschimottanasana. Whichever way you want to practice, start. Now try and bend a little more. And when you feel like relaxing, just stop the practice, stretch your legs out, and relax.
वन लास्ट राउंड last round and stop kanan very nice to see you do that now we will do shashank asan so for shashank asan if you don't have any knee problem you will come in your vajrasan if you have a knee problem you will keep the leg straight so take care of yourself keep the hands on the knees if you are sitting in vajrasan even if you are keeping the legs straight keep your hands on your knees continue with me breathing in bring both the hands up let the arms be touching the ears imagine that you are stuck it to the ears with a fairy cord hold your breath as you breathe out bend forward from your waist till the palm touches the ground then bend down take the head as close to the ground as you are comfortable and then breathe normally so that you can hold the position for a long time then breathing in keeping the arms touching the ears come up hold your breath keep the hands in position breathing out very slowly bring the hands down from the front one more round on your own start now you come into your prone position after that when you complete the asan very slowly release your position and then lie on your stomach we are going to do tirya bhujangasana four head on the ground hands under the shoulders on either side the feet standing on your toes at the back bend your knee bring the hands up straight look at the ceiling hold your breath breathing on turn the head to the right side look over your right shoulder at your left heel breathing in come back to the center breathing out turn the head to the left side look over your left shoulder at your right heel breathing in come back if you are comfortable another round turn to the right side breathing in come back hold your breath breathing out turn from the left side breathing in come back and then very slowly breathing out bring your forehead to touch on the ground then very really slowly and comfortably turn on your back we are going to do padottanasan raising your legs so the traditional practice is you breathe in and bring the legs up if possible you will catch your toes otherwise catch wherever you can hold your breath 
for breath normally if you want to hold it for a longer time and then breathing out you will bring both the legs down slowly but to increase your brain power particularly activating both the right brain and the left brain to work together i have made a variation to this wherein we cross the legs when you bring it up breathing in cross your hands hold your toes hold as long as you are comfortable and then breathing out uncross the legs uncross the hands bring the legs very slowly to rest on the ground so get ready everyone start slowly release it and relax one last round breathing in slowly lift both the legs up cross them cross your hands if possible catch your toes otherwise catch it wherever you can for catching the toes you should not bend your legs if you don't catch the toes that's okay but keep the legs straight when you want to release release the position and lie down and continue to be in shavasan Let the hands be by the side of the body. Let the palms face the sky. Allow your feet to rest in whichever way you are comfortable. They are either flop on both sides, or they may be slightly elevated from the ground. Mentally say to yourself, "I am relaxing my whole body." I'm allowing each and every cell in my body to completely and deeply relax. Pay attention now to only your feet and then mentally direct your attention to the right toes and relax them. Then shift your attention to the left toe and relax them. Now pay attention to both your heels and relax them. Now pay attention to your foreleg from the knees to the ankle. Relax all of them. Relax your ankle as well. Now pay attention to your knees and mentally relax your knees. And pay attention to the back of the knees. And as you continue to command your knees to relax more and more, see if your leg, back of the knees are touching or going closer and closer to the ground. Allow them to sink more into the ground. Keep commanding your knees to relax. Let go. Relax. Let go. then pay attention to the area between the knees and the hip joint and relax the entire thighs relax all the thigh muscles and all the cells in that area <clears throat> now relax both your hip joints and the experience of flexible the joint is in terms of helping you to rotate your feet in whichever way you want
Now pay attention to both your glute muscles and relax both of them and try and experience what is the pressure between them and the ground. Is it pressing very hard or is the press light? Keep commanding the muscles to relax. Then pay attention to your spinal cord and the vertebrae. Start with relaxing the coccyx bone. Can you feel the coccyx touching the ground? Then feel your sacral bone and see if you can feel it touching the ground. Then mentally relax your lumbar vertebrae L5, L4, L3, L2, L1. Relax all of them. See if you can feel them connect with the ground. If any of them are not, try and gauge which one is not touching the ground. Then repeat the same for the thoracic vertebrae. Start from T12, then come up to T1. So T12, T11, T10, T9, T8, T7, T6, T5, T4, T3, T2, T1. Now relax both the lower back and feel them all flushed along the ground comfortably. Now pay attention to mid back and see them comfortably aligned with the ground in total relaxation. Then do the same for the upper back and see how wonderfully it is touching the ground. Then pay attention to your shoulders and let them sink into the ground and feel them actually touch the ground. Now relax both your hands from the shoulder joint to the fingers, relax them completely. Now relax the back of your head and the back of your neck. And then top of the head. Now relax your forehead, eyebrows, eyelids. Then relax all the facial muscles. Relax your neck. Relax your chest. Relax the mid-abdomen. <coughs> and relax the lower abdomen. Now as you breathe in, feel the diaphragm moving down, increasing the vacuum in your chest area, allowing more air to flow in. As you breathe out, Feel the diaphragm going up, squeezing into the chest, pressing the lungs and pushing all the stale air out. Feel the diaphragm's movement inside your body. Now relax the entire body and feel a sense of calm, serenity pervading throughout your body. Experience a certain sense of serenity and stability in spite of all the turmoil going on all around you in the world. You are surrendering to the cosmic intelligence. 
and you are letting your body sink into the ground in total state of relaxation. Now visualize a bright light which is cosmic intelligence coming towards you. It's penetrating your body through your Guru Madhya. And experience a bright illumination of the entire body inside. Each and every cell in your body is now totally rejuvenated, made fresh and new. Thank the cosmic intelligence for its benevolence. Then slowly become aware of your breath at the nostrils. Then very gently open and close your fingers. Bend your hands at the elbow and put it back. Bend your toes forwards and backwards. Then bend your feet forward and backward. Then fold your feet and then stretch it back. <clears throat> now turn to one side. As I have demonstrated before, very gently with the support of the hand, keep the head down. First come on your knees, then lift your head up. And then we will do pranayam, anulom vilom with all the bandhas, which is antar kumbhak and varya kumbhak. So the way it is, is you will breathe in from the left, keep your count, then you will hold both the nostrils, close them, bend your chin down, you are locking the <coughs> throat chakra, and then keeping this lock in place, you will hold the breath, if possible, four times normal breathing in count. If not, whatever you are comfortable with. And then you will release, when the head is up, then you will open the right, breathe out from the right. <clears throat> then you will again close when the breath is out, again bring your chin down, Jalandar Bandar, and then again hold it for four times a cup. Then breathing in, from the right, hold, lift your head up, breathe out from the left. After you have taken the breath out, hold. So continue till I call out. Start. <laughs>
complete your round and then stop the practice. <coughs> Chant Om three times. Once again, make your sankalpa. I'm chanting Om, creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. Take a deep breath in for Om Mantra. Om. Asatoma is a gummaye, Amasoma, Jutir gummaye, Rikurma, Rutam gummaye, Sarvisham, Swastil Babatu, Sarvisham, Shantil Babatu, Sarvisham, Purnam Babatu, Sarvisham, Mangalam Babatu. Loka Samasta Sukino Bavantu Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugantim Pashtivadanam Urvar Kamiva Pandanam Vityur Mukshi Yamamritat Om Shandi 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 Hari Gyo Rub your hands nicely. And when they are warm, keep them on your eyes. Feel the warmth flowing in from the palm into the eyes. And gently open the eyes. And you won't touch it. So bye. See you all on Thursday. We will starting with lesson 17. Bye.